single figure temperature here wind chill factor is high at a ground that is new on the rugby league landscape but certainly not the club St Helens they are rich and long in tradition and some great names and you see them all around the ground here their faces and their names a hall of fame it's Coralius, Alex Murphy, Tommy Bishop Mal Meninga played for St Helens now, obviously, we see the Fijians traditionally go to like a war dance or a chant similar to a haka, but here they've chosen the hymn and a prayer as they did in game one. What they're asking for is divine guidance. And in Fijian, it's E Giovova Ni Vuke Chao Menda. It means, God, please help us. They mean business. Their entire squad out there, their, their training staff out there. And that side for Australia with Inglis. It's exciting, the back line. Inglis at the back. Hey, I counted. There's no less than seven club captains, I think you'll find, uh, across this Australian side. Thurston, Cherry Evans in the halves. Strong in the forward. Scott Smith, Tamo, Lewis, Papali and Miles. The name of Boyd Cordner on the sheet for the first time for Australia. Likewise, Papali. Fafita, Farah and Gallen. Tim Sheen's in charge. And uh, Fiji, plenty of uh, NRL experience across their lineup. You look at Nagama and Korobiti, Wanga, Millard from the Catalan Dragons, Uate. Inexperienced halves, but they'll be supported by a very strong pack with the three Sims boys and Sivana Siva, captain of this side. The Cronulla Sharks, Jason Bakuya there as well. Australia to kick off. It is uh, 8 o'clock local time here on a Saturday night in St Helens. I can tell you that uh, we've had a bit of uh, scram this afternoon in town. A real rugby league town this is. There was a rugby union test being played this afternoon. Australia and England at Twickenham. You couldn't find it being shown anywhere. They were all watching England versus Ireland in the Rugby League World Cup. So all standing by now. And uh, it's a tough job to keep warm as they wait for the queue to start it all. Richard Silverwood, our referee for this one. He had charge of that, uh, that bell ringer last Sunday night at Warrington, New Zealand and Samoa. This VNG, Fiji inside hoping for a big opening. Players freezing out there. Might have to send the trainers back on to warm them up. Langtree Park in St Helens. We are all ready to go. Let's get it on. Second match of the tournament for these two sides in Group A. And a skidding ball to be fielded. And Sivana Siva, the captain, takes the very first run. One. It Woo! must feel unusual for Petro. 45 go tests in the green and gold lining up. Tonight against Australia, Ashton Sims takes the second run as far as the 20. Watch the left flop there. And I guess you can call okay. Jackie Sims, the mother of Tarek and hey, Corbin. Oh, and Ashton, the first lady oh, of Fiji Rugby League. What a proud mum she is tonight. Petro takes the second That's run of the set. Move. Ready to lay a platform for his team, lead from the front. It's a good first set. Kick will come hey. from Groom. Not a long kick, but it is into a very strong breeze here tonight. It is, uh, it is ordinary in terms of weather. The locals know it. They, they know what to expect. But for those of us who come from parts uh, a long way away, it, it's, uh, it's an ordinary cold night. This is Scott with the ball. Over halfway, but a good low tackle from Stora. And the Australians keep it nice and tight. Now Tamo. It's the two North Queensland Cowboys front rowers there again tonight for the Kangaroos. It's their number one front row. Working right fringe. And Papali advances the football inside the 30. Last tackle it is. 
It's a tough night for all the men at the back if they want to put it high. Thurston opportunity to run. He goes low. The skidding ball's not all that easy either. And Uate is on to it. Four Fiji, 12 metres away from their own line. Pretty comfortable opening set of six for both sets of sides here. All about ball present preservation. I think the idea tonight will be two, go back to the basics and just go the low tackle. Go, Put the two. man on the ground, high tackles, you'll get brushed off. So we'll see some real technical tackling happen here, Three. maybe a little flops as well. BG up go, as far go. as their own 30 and uh, steady football from them. And I think uh, Coach Rick Stone would be happy. That was one of their, their plans to negotiate the opening sets of six. We saw Millard on the previous run. And it's quite obvious that Sivana Siva, he wants to play the leadership role. He wants them to take it to the Australians. Now, Groom has a, a second kick. It's a long it's a long way from the Asquith Magpies to be playing against Australia in St Helens. It was a good kick, kept it low, kept it under the breeze, if you like, here. Yeah, important also for the kick to find space and to turn them round. So, England's having to go back to grab that one. Save the next 10 metres now. Second tackle on the 20. 2008 World Cup. When these sides played in the semi-finals, it was 52-0. Three. Australia All the way advanced to the final Go, only three. to be beaten by New Zealand. It's the fourth time Fiji have competed at the World Cup. Four, and Australia way, now with fifteen metres of territory to get to halfway and Scott it is who pokes his nose Plus. through to the defence. Stora was able to hang on. Well done. Working in the mines these days down in the Illawarra. Low Go kick off. there by Cherry Evans on the chase. Thurston's there. Terrible soccer skills from Thurston. Wonderful pickup. Ball comes out for Morris. Morris will score for the Kangaroos. I was looking back. Was it Papali who scooped the ball up? There was one magical bit of skill around about 30 metres away from the line. Thurston's uh, attempt at kick wasn't good, but I think we've got an Australian try. Passion. Okay, Passion. we look at the onside. Just pause it Just on the into the tackles, make sure. Keep We've only got okay. three players actually on the side behind the man. Just need to make sure well, that the, in. No, a the uh, before, kicker brings them on side or it deliberately strikes an opponent. It doesn't look like it does. That'll okay, we need to go back and just have a look at that one. Where we that player has come from and if the kicker brings them on. So just jog the ball, so Roll it back, please. Right back to the kick. Pause it there. Okay, right, we can go on from there. Right, they're all off. He doesn't bring any of those players on side. We called him offside. We called him offside. Yeah, I think I think Cherry Evans puts them all back on. Okay. We called him offside. He's yeah, offside. He so it's gonna be a no try. And it's gonna be a penalty to Fiji Petro. on the no time, 35 metres out, Rich. 35. 35 metres out, penalty in Fiji. So you're hearing the voice of video referee Ben Thaler, and you have the inside mail that it is no try, and it's an offside play on the kick from Cherry Evans. He did his very best to try them, try to run them onside. Only the kicker of the football can run them onside. Penalty's here, mate. And Fiji dodge a bullet. That's a very good call from Ben Thaler there. He's picked up Jonathan Thurston out wide, who uh, was just marginally inside that kick. But both kicks so far from the Australian team, low along the ground because of this strong wind. They don't want to get it up high in case it uh, it goes too far. But a good call to start there. Oh, Daly Jerry Evans' kick was a shocker. And Thurston's was much better. This one's even worse. <laughs> oh, no, that's a foul touch. Oh. And Hayne took it on the boot and has put it out on the okay. full. So Fiji will get a scrum feed out of this. Well, that, aren't we seeing some uh, some marginal soccer skills here? Thurston with a miss yeah, kick, and then Hayne with a volley, James, and it'll be a Fijian scrum feed on halfway. That would have been some try for Hayne if that Can had stayed in play there, Touching but distance, uh, the kick didn't find touch, and Hayne thought he'd just try and Ouch. poke it along with the ball. So Fiji get an opportunity with the ball, and Daryl Millard. It's it when these, guests, these uh, gusts blow up here. Yeah, It'll blow Play the dog boys. off a chain. Oh, it's uh, very strong here, and that is Tarek Sims with the ball now. Two. To have all oh, no. three brothers, and we may Wait. have all three Sims Go brothers two. playing all three Burgess brothers next Saturday when Fiji take on England. This is Sivana Siva with the Magamas and the Millards to play well a sideshow. Ten brothers out on the field. What a moment at a Rugby League Last World Cup. Soon you might need a brother to make Wait. the team. David. 
No, Good point. Oh. And Storer is with it now. And working right side, Groom takes it up the line. This is a good opportunity for Fiji. 15 metres away from the line. Last tackle play. They take it to the short side. Storer, not a great kick. Yeah, they may get the tackle count restart. They will. Fiji, full set. 20 metres out from the line. Ashton Sims takes the tackle. So Australia under a little bit of pressure. It's the uh, Cowboys roommates there, Scott and Sims, that collided in the tackle. Now Tarek Sims gets them close. Chance have gone up for Fiji. The St Helens fans have adopted Fiji as their side tonight. Penalty Fiji. Nine metres out. Ten metres to the side of the posts. They didn't post a point in the 08 semi-final. They've got an opportunity, if they like, to put their noses in front, and that's what they're going to do. So courtesy of a repeat set of six where the ball hits and ricochets off some Australian legs. Yeah, Fiji, we'll look like they'll side. go for points yeah. and try and take a lead and into this game. Right, okay, then, I had a go chat go. with Rick Stone and O'Wiz yeah. Nagama tonight, so, so their regular kicker for Fiji out of action. And this young man here, Alapate, Noe Leia. Yeah. He had some kicks in the game they had in Suva before the World Cup. Who's that? And sprayed them everywhere. And yesterday when he came here, Josh Morris just had a half a dozen shots. Yeah, sorry, and Rick Stone, he said he had the best rhythm he's seen of the whole trip. So a nice easy one to start with no for the youngster. Well, he hasn't bothered taking it back any further than where the penalty was awarded. He's left it there, 11 metres out, and just to the side of the posts. Yeah, right. So this for points against Australia. Get themselves on the board. And look, their, their play has been committed and, and probably a little better than that. A little bit more than it's just still, commitment boys. and passion from Fiji. There's a real purpose about their play, though. Yeah, look, Rick Stone would be very happy with the start. Oh. You know, they've, the, the first set, they didn't make a lot of ground. The kick wasn't great into the strong win. Second set was a lot better, as Daryl said. Found some grass and, and rolled along and made English chase back to bring it back. Third set again, very, okay. very good set. Lucky with that bouncer repeat set. And now they're uh, the lead in Australia in this game. They lead the Kangaroos. No layer lands the goal. It's Fiji 2, Australia 0. Seven minutes gone at uh, Leng Tree Josh, Park, the home of the Saints and Helens. And Australia know that... Uh, there's going to be nothing easy about tonight. Yes, they're expected Stay to win on. and probably win well. Stay on. But they're not going to be presented points on a platter. It's not, not going to be because of lack of effort from their opponents. Back on. So Smith gets us into the next passage of play. And a Fiji lead, Australia 2-0. <laughs> and Simon Siva takes yet another run. What? 37 Woo! years of age out on there tonight. Wait. Wait. And if things go no. on course for Fiji and they make and their way all much. the way through to the semis... Well, Joe Petro Sivanasiva, it could be a oh, farewell at Wembley to play the last Go. game of his career. And Ashton Sims now has the Three, ball. Move. They mind you, they make the semis, they can make the final. Go, they want to sell them short. Matt. Every second play, Four. you just say Sims, move. don't you? You say Sims, and on the other Go. plays, you say Sivanasiva. And there it is, there's Petro, takes another one. He's taken two hit ups in every set so far, Last. a metre short Go of halfway. Wait. Scott Go, there in that? the tackle with Cameron Smith. Great mates, great teammates through yeah. Queensland and Australian Ten. sides in the past. And uh, Groom having great success with a Get lower out. kick now. And Boyd is the man back there. That's another Boyd. great kick, isn't it? Splitting the fullback and the time. winger once again. Go, but Sivan I mean, six carries already. They've only had three sets of six. He's doubling up in every Two. six. 45 Three. tests for Australia. No Playing this one like it's his first. All three men at the back for Australia, and here's Hayne with the ball. They play fullback for their club sides in the National Rugby League. Boyd at Newcastle, and Hayne at Parramatta, and Inglis at South Sydney. And yet, none of the three are first choice for Australia because there's a bloke called Slater. And he's got a golden boot. Here's Thurston. A lovely step. Got past Sims almost a halfway, and it was Ashton Sims who made the tackle after brother Tarek had missed. Got off. And uh, the kick is down the centre. Nagama will go across to it. He had a very good final series for Newcastle. Hadn't had much football this year in the NRL up until the finals. But came in late Move. for James McManus, who is forced wait. out of the Scotland uh, World Cup calculations go. due to injury. They have so much luxury in this Australian side. I mean, Jonathan Thurston got caught there on the last two. play. And it was Daly Cherry Evans that who went in the dummy half go, roll. Two. And guess who hops up on the left-hand side and kicks? Cameron Smith. Luxury. Three. Move! 
Hold Cameron, wait, wait, mate. Fiji wait. just outside Go their own 30. And uh, this is not a night to come to a ground without a, a woolly hat and a big Gosh. jacket. Oh, it's, oh, it's, I'm going to say it's three degrees. I'm just going to make that up, but it's up something in that vicinity. Right on halfway, there's a, a great tackle from Lewis. Plenty physical, that one on Corbin Sims. Another one of those low kicks, well fielded there by Darius Boyd. Bashfest was, or rather by English, Bashfest was the word used in the build-up to tonight's game. The Kangaroos said that's what they were expecting, but they want to beat... The Fijians to the punch, I think. Wait. 15 short of halfway. Go, two. And uh, Cherry Evans going off right side. Three, uh, no Brett Morris tonight. Oh. He's been rested after the Go, first three. game. But uh, twin brother Josh is there. Now Cherry Evans darts away and takes oh, it within no. 42 metres oh. of the Fijian line. Oh. Fiji up. Go. Two no points to nil. Eight. We're 11 minutes into the contest. This is Scott with the ball. It's slippery conditions out there. Four. Still four. Nice offload for Smith. A nice little bit of stepping, got away so from far. Bakuya. Now Thurston is able to run it, runs into Smith, bounces off him, does a dance around the back of James Tamo. No defender was impeded, it was Go, just Thurston so in, in all sorts of trouble trying to carry the ball forward. Kick from Cherry Evans, well weighted, perfect almost. Well, no, Marika Konabini decided to take a little chance there. There's some ice in his veins there, wasn't he? Just He did very, very well just to watch that. Looking at it again, Cherry Evans, a great little kick, slid along the one. ground. Move. And there he is. He just had oh, plenty no. of patience, and that was a, a, a great call from him. VG back in possession, but they've managed to uh, negotiate the first 11 and a half oh, minutes. They haven't conceded points, and they lead 2 0. Played by on, Millard Josh. and uh, across Crossfield. These two halves, Noe Leia, he plays for the Collegian Clubs Move. down in uh, in, Wool in, uh, the in, in the Illawarra competition. Go, three. And Groom plays out of Asquith, a few oh, tiers ten. down from the four. NRL. Move. Oh, it's, it's an enormous Go, thrill for them. What a, what a highlight to be playing tonight ten at long. a World Cup, surrounded by players like Simon Seaver and their own Move. team, let alone the, the players they're coming up against. Go. 35 away from the line, and here is that okay. number six, Noe Leia kicking, and uh, fielded by Jared Hay, he'll bring Inglis into play. They're all lined back there, Thurston and Boyd, but Inglis decides to run straight, Move. short of the 20. Here, They've done the homework, Wait. haven't they, Rick Stone? Of course, they've pumped Go. the right hand side of the Steps field off. with the first Mark couple, couple okay. of kicks, courtesy of Aaron Groom, and then Noe Ayala Wait comes on. up and puts one into the Two. left. I mean, ah. this is a side Greg Inglis Wait. loves to run from. He loves to run from his right hand side and use his right hand fin. First penalty that match as well. A little bit Quick too long over the top from Fiji. Can I also tell you that these two sides clashed at the 2000 World Cup. They played up at Gateshead, up near the uh, England-Scotland border. And it was a big win to the Aussies on that night. 66 points to eight. But I hope Lottie Takiri's watching somewhere in the world tonight because I'm going to tell you, he was man of the match that night. He was best player on the field. He did absolutely everything in a side beaten by 50 points plus. It was a, an amazing performance by a player on a team that was thrashed. And he was captain of the Fiji team then. Wes Nagama was captain in 2008 and now Simon Asiva captain in 2013. Smith on for Scott. Australians have come with a pretty straightforward game plan to, to get through these conditions. They're treating their opposition with great respect here. Thurston, that four. short Move. pass can be dangerous. Back it produced a try in the Go, opening four. match against England. He's got Lewis working that left side. He's got Josh Papali on the right-hand side of the field. Move. Nine the minutes away from line. the line. Last Go. tackle, Kangaroos. Switch left again with Thurston. He threads the needle, but the ball isn't forced in goal. And uh, referee Silverwood out. says line yes. drop out Fiji. Quinn drop out, let's check the reset. But they want to check it. Jennings has gone up as if restart, to say man. try here. There's a bit of confidence from uh, from Michael Jennings here. Ben Thaler, video referee, can take the call. He didn't, I don't think he went to the video ref, did he? He, he pointed to the, uh, the try line for the goal line dropout. So he's just looking to determine or confirm his restart, is he? He did it. It's only the left hand yeah, kicked out. 
Draw one, drop off. I think Uate gets it. Uate kicks it yeah. out, the, out the back. Draw one, drop off. Kemi. So let's go with the first call of line dropout. So it soaked up a bit of time, added a bit of theatre to Ashton. it all. Hold your 10 metres, OK, mate. Stop. And Noe Leia Back on, mate. with the line dropout for Fiji. Just keep working with me. That's and has okay, done mate. well to get it as far as the 40. And Matt Scott with another run to come back, running away from Ashton Sims. One. Changes already Move. for Fiji. Straight up. Vina well done, on. Go. Looks like a young Willie Mason to me, just making the tackle here on Two. Tamo, going down Move. low. Off him, challenge. Go. Corbin, sorry. Kethe, yeah, he's got the hair everywhere. Three. The big Move. afro, 15 metres away Roger, from the line. Wait, Australia wait, still wait. chasing their first Go, points of the night. Played by Nate Miles. And a pat on the back from Sims. Lovely ball. Papali on the boo. There's a big moment for the young Canberra back rower. Josh Papali scores for Australia. 15 minutes in, four points to two. Look at the elation on his face there. Look at the elation on his face, Papali. It's a first game for Australia. And uh, he's run into a great ball for Cherry Evans, who took the, the line, or took the ball right to the line. Nice little short ball. And there wasn't any stopping him. And uh, he'd be very, very proud of that moment. Big lump of a lad, Josh Papali. Australia not doing a lot, but going right up through the middle to start this match. The short ball on offer. Big man on little man. We've just been singing the praises of the 5'8 Apalate. No Ilea for Fiji. And one on one. Big Papali. Steamroll straight over the top of him. 110 kilos of him. Josh Papali. And uh, 15 minutes in to his first test. In the green and gold, Josh Papali has a try for Australia. Great Time moment. Off. He is Auckland-born, but uh, came across to Brisbane as a young fella and played all his junior footy through Brisbane. And to prove he's a Queenslander, he used to cry when they lost Josh Papali. Just if he was born these days, he wouldn't be doing much crying. They don't lose too often. He hasn't had many tears for a few years. Thurston now. It's a tough, I said a tough night for the men at the back trying to catch the high ball. Tough night for goal kickers. Back on. Thurston from 20 metres out and 10 in from touch. Nice and steady. Shaves the upright and gets it. Shaves it on the good side. 6-2 to the Aussies. JT was really tentative with his footing at Carter. Saw him slip a couple of times with his goal kicking. The night will be real similar. We see a final replay of the try. DCE, Jerry Evans goes to the line. Yeah. Short ball, bringing the defence up, flipping it on. Coach Sheens will be happy. The Miller there just got up uh, up in front of his, uh, his inside man there and the just kick. created that hole for Kabali to go boys. through and there was no stopping the big fella that close to the line. Corbin still working out the room, mate, OK? No hurry to get oh, things good. back underway, Kevin Nagama. Stay on, boys. Stay brings on. it back to the centre of halfway. Back on. Good morning to our Australian viewers watching on seven, mate. As uh, that kick oh, bounces into no man's land there <laughs> for the Australians. Host broadcaster in the United Kingdom well, Premier one. Sports. Move. And those of you watching Ready? through Sky Sports in New Zealand, Milken. as we Go start the second week of uh, the Rugby League World Cup, it's hard to believe it only started last Saturday and we've had so much Ready? action and so many good Two. games and great to Go. see big Go. crowds as well. Well supported. Another sellout earlier today with Ireland against England. Hey. After a sellout Three. last night in Avignon Go. in the south of France. New Zealand and the French team, and now it's an opportunity okay. for Jennings to cause some trouble Last on that left-hand side. Move. He was pushing and shoving, Ten, but Corbin Good. Sims finished him off. Smith oh. on for Lewis, inside the 30, Lewis. Pass. Now Move. 25 metres from the back. line. Last tackle Go. for the Kangaroos. Smith go. Oh, Thurston! He's lost his lollies. And uh, Fiji come up with a ball. Go, That's going to happen, even to the best of them. Already Four. thinking about his kick, ah. Jonathan Thurston, Wait. before he grasped the football, Go. got it in his hands, straight through like a bar of soap. Interesting to see them go down the left-hand side. Release. Cora Betty Wait, no, and also Cecil Wonga, Go. both known Two. wingers, have played a little bit Two. of centre in this World Cup. So maybe a new experience for them. That's three. Move! All the way Another back, touch boys. of the ball for Noe Lea, the 5'8". And Stora gives it on to Sims to cut the ball up to within Move. seven metres of halfway. 
go around ball. the legs was Josh Morris. Cherry Evans over the top for a uh, rather groomed kicking from just outside the 40. Clear. Nice balance shown there by Boyd to retreat and catch. And Darius Boyd returns the footy. That's one. Player of the no. year for the Newcastle Knights one this take. season. Go one. And uh, Australia have sent Fafita out there in Paul Gallen. And uh, Scott and Tamo, Move. the two We're starting front rowers off. off the field. Go two. And this is Morris with it across okay. field. Corbin Three. Sims up there to make the tackle. Go. Corbin Sims had a, a big moment in the warm-up game for Fiji. As for Fafita's first That's touch is big. Move. But Corbin Watch Sims scored a hat-trick inside 10 minutes. The opening 10 minutes of their warm-up game against the uh, Rochdale Plus. Hornets. Move. It's a nice way to arrive and play your first game in the UK. Now with uh, Smith getting a kick, which is just... Well, I don't think that was his intention. He wanted to keep it in the field of play. And Fiji will have a scrum feed 10 metres away from their own line. First play the ball there. Not exactly adventurous with the last play option from Cameron Smith. Yeah. Players on the outside and kicked us. Leave the marker alone as well. He took him out as well. Line. Love the runner for Fiji. Hasn't he been a revelation this year? The Cronulla Sharks player got his captain on the bench and Gallon okay, entered the field course, as well. Okay. Oh, well, just my opinion on yeah, the NRL. If they'd have said Fafita was player of the year at the Dally M Awards, the uh, the awards night that acknowledges the best, I would have had no dramas with what? it. He was Move. he was great, great Hold at club level, way, then uh, handled Origin, what? thoroughly deserves his selection in this World Cup squad. Bakuya on the right hand Move. side. New Zealand Square. Warriors fans go will see two. him in Auckland next year. There's uh, some solid Three. defense front Three. on. Go they came in. up quickly. Three. Fafita is fired up. That's the best way to get warm is to, to get involved in everything Four. on a night like this in up, St. Helens. The Go defans ball. have been great again. Great reception for both teams and, Come on, and fans up, coming mate. to the game from other parts. They've been embraced by Watch. the locals. Move. What did we, we, we had lunch at the running horse today if you want to follow the, the diets of Halligan and Voss. As the kick goes across oh, field, bounces nicely for Boyd. But that's the expression, the local expression, Back scram. You have to scram, that's what we had. We had scram for lunch, yep. It was good. Food on offer. Kick from Jane Storer, they're not the best. Coming off the off side the of his foot and hitting pretty much straight across field. Now for Fafita, another run. And I don't think they were too willing to engage there. Vina Kente didn't quite put the biggest of shoulders in. Is that three or four? And they're working forward with Nate Miles. Didn't play in the opening match, so he's looking to make a bit of a statement here. 29 metres away from the line. Smith right up the line. Thurston quickly to Inglis. That's a nice combo, isn't it? Smith, Thurston, Inglis. Big salary cap. Smith, crossfield, knocked down by Fiji. Play on for the Kangaroos. Ten away from the line. Inglis, that big fend. Big fend again. Then the flick. Lewis away. Boyd, oh, what about G.I.? Greg Inglis. Fend, fend. Offload. Beautiful. Second try to the Kangaroos. Well, that's a, a tremendous play from the Australians there. Great little kick, oh, good, right good kick from Cagnon Smith. Normally left footer. And look at Inglis, just bend, left bend, left bend, left bend, left bend, hold the ball right there, or in the left hand, pops it out the back, and a, a great try there for the for the Aussies. But uh, Inglis, how do, you, how do you put him down? You just can't stop him. He's got that right hand just bending, and then he's holding them out. And uh, to, to hold the ball in the left hand like that in these conditions is, is something special as well let alone to get that flick out the back to Lewis and uh, and then on out wide to Boyd for the try that's the a ball. trademark of the big fellas isn't it love seeing him play fullback love the move from Michael Maguire to shift him back there and I wonder if he's going to cause a few heartaches for Tim Sheens wanting him to play him in this position we know the fullback role is the most that's aerobic right. in the competition of all the positions on the field now so playing him at centre in the first game didn't really Come see on. a lot of the ball to Greg Inglis Maybe want him to get him more involved and maybe get some miles into his legs as well. And this opportunity is a perfect opportunity for him to do it. Darius Boyd gets another test try. He's now got 11 in his 13th test. He's, he hasn't got the, the greatest of strike rates at club level, but it's been a different story in rep football. Started off as a winger with Brisbane back in 2006, played in a grand final in his very first year. And a lot of big matches along the way since then. Back on. First and second kick. It's a tough one. And that's going to go nowhere near the posts. Ten points to two. <laughs> JT shakes the head. Welcome to St. Helens, lad. Welcome to Langtree Park. 
quick lessons for the young people here playing the game when you've got someone the size of Greg Inglis and the arms and the legs and the appendages he's got, go low. Oh, Look at all these tackles. <laughs> all high. <laughs> what, you've got to grab his appendage? Is that what you're saying to get him down? I'm just saying, go low on the man. Grab his appendage. Well, and at, not at this ground, but the old Knowlesley Road ground, the, the home of St. Helens. Another good. big man from Australia Steady was a hero, Mal Meninga. And they speak so fondly of him here. Just as good. the fans at Hull speak about Peter Sterling and the time he spent there. But uh, <laughs> there are images around the ground good. of Big Mal. Move. And there was one all statement way, way. that said he... It's one of the regrets sure. from his career that when he finished in 94, he didn't on. come back Two. to St. Helens and play Boom. a stint Go. at the end of his career. He would have loved to have done that now with the benefit of hindsight. Great run from Gallon here on the right. Three Easy race. yards on offer as well. Australia up on halfway. And Smith, enjoyable contest so far. Papali goes for a run. Papali does well. That's four, Boyd Cordner waiting to come on and have his first minutes Go in four. Test Rugby League. Smith. Cherry Evans, Thurston, building to the left side again. There's Inglis, there's Wunger in front of him, and he needs plenty of mates to stop Plus. the big fella. Move. Greg Inglis, 30 metres away from the Fiji line. Last tackle, Smith to Thurston. Well, he can't pass left, they're all in front of him. He hung on to the ball a little too long, and suddenly all his teammates are in front of him. And it's a change hey, boys, hey, boys. It was a great read Go. from Wacker, wasn't it? Was he there? He just shot up out of line, saw English going to take the ball out the back and, and cut one. him down. But Move. you're right, the, uh, all the left-hand side, one's outside one's. first, and we're all Go. in front of him. Had, uh, or thought that he was going to kick. Had no option just to take the ball to ground, and, and I'm sure they won't be two happy with that play. Tanned it one. over that easy on the last. Go, two. Fiji also making a change, getting Eversai Kurosawa out there now. You'll see him slipping into, uh, into W half. He's a lively customer. Now for Vinikete. Two metres inside the Australian Go half. Ball. Fiji opened the scoring with a penalty goal. They now trail 10-2, 25 minutes in. But there haven't been too many errors from Fiji. It's been great control and, and poise in their performance tonight. Last play, and there again is a, a, an example of it. A kick to the corner. Get Boyd in trouble. There's nowhere to go there. And Rick Stone, their coach, said that while he was thrilled with their first up performance, he wanted a little less of the emotion and going for big hits and all the rest. More control and composure. And you're seeing it here tonight. They've been they've improved in that aspect. And across for Hayne. Play on. Who played for VG, scored three tries in total at the uh, 08 World Cup. Says it was the turning point of his rugby league career. Poor old Daryl Miller. Cop the whack in the chops there, courtesy of the head of Hayne there. Head clash come up out of it a bit awkward. Gallon, we know that he can offload. He topped the hit ups. He was strong in tackles in that opening match against England and Cardiff. Smith, another kicking option at a dummy half. Australia really are playing as if they've got a, a tune up and intention, rehearsing for bigger games down the track tonight. Oh, their completions are near 90% for go. Australia. And I just wonder if Fiji now need to get their outside backs into this game. They've done a lot of defence courtesy of repeat sets of six and a couple of tries. Go, need some two. scoots out of dummy half. Wingers and centres to the four. You just mentioned Boyd Corner, Rossi a minute ago. He's uh, He's got the card in his hand, so a, a, a big night for him just to be coming out and uh, showing what he's, he can do out on that field as well. Yeah, and, it, and it's extra special given what he's been through through his... Uh, Younger days in rugby league, and he's only 21 now. The ball's carted forward Plus. there by Woo! Ragitha. Trail Last tackle here race. for Fiji. Yes, Go. Cordner is on the sideline. Roosters fans back in Australia, ready to okay. put in a big cheer from their lounge rooms. Kick goes down for Inglis. And Inglis will take on the defence. 20 metres inside the Kangaroos half. Still, Cordner waits to get on. He'll come on now for Nate Miles. The Gold Coast forward. There's a knock on Australia. And Fiji... We'll have a scrum feed just outside the 30 of Australia. Chance yeah. to really put in an attacking set. Those big hands of England. Uh, they come up with an error there. He's just built that ball. Just looking at him there. Drops the ball down as he gets up to play it. And uh, won't be happy with that one. Early tackles. Just on court now. Daryl, I went back through my notes on him. So on his way to first grade okay. football, four surgeries on his right knee, one reconstruction in, of his left knee, one Lock jaw in. reconstruction, and then he had that ankle injury That's this year and he only just got back for the grand final. But, you know, you talk about dedication and commitment. 
he just had this goal to make it. Some good medical insurance too. I mean, didn't play three weeks leading up to the grand final. And then made himself available. Took over from Dylan Napper. Great effort. Tarek seems to play it pushed down. Playing for the penalty doesn't come. Fiji, they're only 21 metres, make it right on 20. Away from the kangaroos line. The fans here in St Helens, they get vocal again. Ragitha goes to Centrefield, it's a big chip at Lane Tree Park. They're a long way from the Pacific, but you'd reckon they were playing in Subaru or Nandy. Groom sends them out to the right. The governor decides to kick. Inglis doesn't take the chance. Line drop out Australia. And I use the word again, control. There's control in this PG performance. There's patience as well. Lovely little kick through onto the right foot. GI bats it over the goal line. Courtesy of a mistake and a repeat set of six. Now they get some possession. Let's see what they can do with this structured set for Fiji. Time off. Vuna Kefe and Ron Kiefer. They look like brothers, don't they? Australia soaking up all the time they can with this line dropout. Let's go. Who's that? So, here they go again. Fiji with an opportunity. And no chances taken. Nice trap there by Noah Leia. And these bench players are leaving a mark. Alona Vuna Kepte. Wait. Plays normally for Wyong up on the central coast of New South Wales. Now Ragitha is there. 30 metres away from the Australian line. Fiji down by 10 points to two, but putting together back-to-back sets now. Pakuya is only 20 away. And the Australian defence have to rally. Gallon made the tackle. Cronulla Sharks there. 15 metres now from the line. They want it to come left. They're set both ways. Nolaya has passed there to Sims. Straightening up almost through. Tarek Sims, eight metres from the line. Last tackle, Fiji. Away for Groom, the halfback. It's been knocked down there by Thurston. Well, surely that was knocked on. Referee Silverwood says play on. Oh, please. That's knocked on for sure. Dodged a bullet here. And a perfect set of six from Fiji as well. Two block plays on the right side. And then the kick comes through, JT. Camera angle, not good. Got to be a knock on that. Three. And that would have been another set of six for the Fijians. And uh, it would have three. really tested the defensive line efforts of Australia. Here's Smith away from W half. And has a drawn a penalty there, Cameron Smith, shrewd. I'll tell you what, Smith's going to have to play well tonight to, uh, to match the play of Isaac Luke last night. What a game he had for New Zealand. Let's look at the knock on again. We're calling it a knock on from Thurston off the hand. He's got the palm facing forward. Yeah. I know we can't rule from here whether it directly went down. But this angle looks hard call for Fiji. The people in Nandy and Suva. They'll be going. They'll be going. Right off. That's it. But the resort's all along the south there. They're all blowing up right now, throwing their, their cocktails at the big screen. Go. And Australia with it. 28 metres away from the Fiji line. How quickly it turns. Courtner gets his first touch. Go. Can he match Papali and come up with a four-pointer? Here's Fafida. He's got one of the best bumps in the game. Andrew oh. Fafida. Release. Cherry Keep Evans to play it. 11 metres from Go, the Fijian line. Smith to Courtner. And the Courtner is driven oh. down by the defence. Oh, nice play there. Go, Corbin four. Sims did the tough work there. Still a chance for Australia. Thurston and Lewis offloaded. Inglis. Quick hands is good. Jenner! is there try scorer in the grand final now try scorer here for Australia in St Helens what we call nice control nice control and composure equal numbers out wide they had numbers to the right as well Thurston hits Lewis who backflips it to Inglis and here it's just Cisa Wonga caught a little bit infield and going for the high tackle on Jennings. Too much speed from that distance yeah, yeah. with the greasy conditions tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go on. Uate go on, unable yeah. to stop an attempt up high after moving sidewards. Possibly could have pushed up instead of rocking oh, back towards his goal me. line, David. Yeah, Wacker oh, just right. didn't have a... Uh, well, he didn't have enough confidence in his inside man in Groom just to make that tackle, and he, he came in when he should have just stayed out on Jennings and, and may have come up with that tackle, but very, very tough to stop Jennings that close to the line. He'll be looking for a big one tonight too. Oh, boy. 
What's you're, you're the goal kicking expert, Darren. We've just had the strongest gust of wind come through here tonight. I'm looking. What, what's he got to do here, kicking into a, right. a swirling breeze inside the stadium? It's normally a, a temple with your two palms. You put them up just in front of your nose and you pray. <laughs> Well, that's the advice of one of the best. He's got it easy. He's kicking with the wind in his back. Thurston, Thurston. That is one of the best goals of his career. Brilliant. Enjoyed that. He loved it. Yeah, look at the smile on the face that of well, JT. Well coached by Darrell there, wasn't it? Yes. He told him what to do and he did it. The silent prayer has worked for Jonathan Thurston. To be fair, there was a little bit of redemption there with that kick, wasn't it? The previous one he had from that sideline didn't even go Ryan's anywhere near the post. Well, it sucked. Let's keep the rock squeak. <laughs> Hit it like a duck, let's say. <laughs> Got that one perfect. Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a, this is a, it's well Give worth watching again. See it again. Look, you wouldn't no. know how, at home just no. how hard this is. What about the bite on the ball into the breeze and then just pulls it back? It looked like it stopped, didn't it? The, the ball was spinning and it looked like it stopped and then came back. Sound, boys. You know, that, that, is, that is a beauty. That is an absolute beauty from Thurston. On a windswept night in no, St Helens. In and the there rock. again, the wind holds up. It skids, it bounces, and into the hands in the end. Surrender! <laughs> Papali. Stand up. Go it's on, almost on. as if he didn't want it, but it ended up in his lap. So Australia, three tries now in the first half, two. 33 Move. minutes in. They oh, lead by no, 16 go. points to two. And another error by the Aussies inside their own half. Can kind of put a little bit more pressure on their defence. And a little bit of luck for Fiji. They might just post a try before the break. Well, they've tried the last play options of going through. and Little Steelers kicked through the line. And got a repeat set there. Another sloppy yeah, play. The ball. We're going to see some of those tonight. Slippery conditions. Control, play the ball. I wonder if they've got something different be. up their sleeve. Okay. Let's see Uato involved from the scrum here. Yeah, 30 metres out from the line and a ball for Nagama. Just speak about goal kickers, a, a great goal Move. kicker, Len Killeen played go. for St Helens. The man who roll in, roll was the goal in. kicker for the, the Balmain go, Tigers back in. in the 1969 grand final. He had some great years with St Helens. Two. Move. South Stay African, wait. Wait. You're who are two of the world go. playing rugby league. Total tackles, you can see there on screen as... Uh, it is Vena Kefei who has tackled 15 metres away from the Australian line. Go, three. And the, uh, the St Helens fans need to lift this Fiji inside again. Groom, but the defence is good. Thurston came up. He had hold of the leg. Lewis completes there with Cordner. Out of dummy half they go. Corusau, and now only five metres from the line. It is Evans to play it. Still a chance for the Fijians. Down 16 points to two. Now it's a massive chance. Oh, touch and goal slide into the tarmac. With Conabete, the West Tigers winger. But they're firing a few shots at the Australian defence. Not too sure the kick was the option yes. here. Would have loved to have seen Conabete go one-on-one -on -one with Hain. Strong finisher. Conabete. Early Move. ball could have been the key. Got all in. Play the foot. Go, go. Five and a half to go. First half. Second two. Saturday oh. of the Rugby League oh. World go. Cup. You're off six, and all the while we build four up eight, four eight. to the big hit at Wembley, the, the double hit a semi-final, and then the decider, the final, Surrender. November 30. We're off we're to the Theatre of Dreams, go. Old Trafford in Manchester. What a great part of the world to have the tournament. Two. Move. And in between, we've got trips off Luke. to Perpignan, and we're off to Go. Wales again tomorrow. Luke, get off. There's, uh, there's plenty on. on Don't let it stop. We're having a ball. You are to with it. Hold, hold, boys. Yes, uh, a lovely Go drive three. across to Wrexham tomorrow to watch Wales play the United States. Oh. In the meantime, match up hold in Workington, Scotland in oh. action again against the Italians and. Last. 14 teams competing Move. at this Rugby Shut League up. World Cup and they're all Square having a good ball. time and they're all putting in Wait. and the crowds are responding. Go. Quite like the efforts of, off the bench of Kane Evans here. Go good off. rangy kid. Groom with a kick which is going to bounce. It has found touch. Could have been worse. The result. And with uh, four minutes to go until half time, 16 to 2 again, you've got to stress the step up in great. Can I use horse racing parlance? Oh. It's like coming out of a, in, for Australian fans anyway, out of a provincial race, maybe down at Kemp Lagrange, and just about racing in the Melbourne Cup, to be honest, the step up in class here. 
for these players, the two halves, the six and the seven for VG. We give them a pass mark so far. A couple of their kicks have been fantastic. The long low ones where they've given themselves some time. The ones where they're under pressure a little bit. Come up a little short. A little scrum play from the Australians. Has Inglis going the short side and three blokes up on for a ride and he can carry them all. Here is uh, Luke Lewis with the ball. Short of halfway, only five metres at 16 to 2. The Australians from game number one, they had a, a super strike right on half time when Billy Slater scored that runaway try against England. That would really hurt Fiji if they conceded a fourth try. I don't think their effort deserves to be down four tries in the first half. And uh, nice offload there, Smith, quick hands, Cherry Evans. On it comes for Papali, looking to stand them up again. Off the ball. He's Josh such ball. a big lad out well. here on the right-hand fringe, Josh Papali. Gallon, he's hard to handle as well, but the Fiji hey! defence do well. Nice. Millard over the top, Go. locks up the ball. Smith to Cherry Evans. Thurston takes them across, gets knocked over after kicking. Uate is there All for right. Fiji. Aquila Uate, hat-trick on his first game here this year. Hat-trick on his first on match at the 2008 World Cup. As Fiji get a penalty Shot again, Richard Silverwood putting his stamp on this game. Lightly used this evening, the right winger, Uate. Here's a kick from Jonathan Thurston. Go, boys. Squeezes it through the line and finds space like he's supposed to. And the Daly Cherry Evans will pick up who will be offside. Hold your chain, wait. This uh, Fijian Go. squad that they have at the World Cup has a sprinkling of uh, local talent from the competition in Fiji, Go. where they have a, a dozen oh, teams competing. Go. Conferences in the east and the west, across in the east in Suva and the west in Nandi. They went through some tough times in the Super Go. League years, the Super League years Go. in the Southern Go. Hemisphere, where Pass. the competition and the game in Fiji it was just torn apart, torn into two halves. They didn't understand what Go. was going on, but Go. they were, the they were caught in the middle of it. Seven to Seaver to play it short of halfway. Okay. The rain comes down again in St. Helens. Move. It's going to be a nice night for a curry later tonight. Daryl back in Leeds at about midnight. Groom thinking about food a lot on this trip. Groom goes across field. 30 metres away from the Kangaroos line. Last tackle it is. And uh, Cesar Wong has got the kick. It's not good. Inglis is onto it. He's got a bit of room to move here, Greg Inglis. Back to the 20. Just about it is taken two and three, or certainly three defenders every time he's, he's touched it tonight. Inglis, one to go, first half, 16 to 10. Oh, Gallon! Yes, sir, the best, best starts. Welcome. Buller, 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 Buller Banaka. That's it, that's what I was trying to say. Nakama is there. I'm still in French mode. Bonsoir, Simon. But uh, there's no bonsoir about that. That's a good shot on Paul Gallon. Don't see that too often, let me tell you. Kanabete almost back to the 20. Fiji a chance to attack coming up to half time. It's not easy in these conditions. The wind, the rain, the slippery playing surface. But they're giving it a good crack. Now for Sims. That is Tarek. Three Sims boys up against Australia tonight. Seven to Siva. Started the match strong, will finish the first half strong. Another good run by Big Petro. And hello, that's over the Titanic that's just hit the stadium. Well, that's half time, one or the other. Ladies and gentlemen, good first half here. Three tries to nil after Fiji opened the scoring with a goal. Half time at Langtree Park, St Helens. Australia 16, Fiji 2. Natalie.